hello and welcome to my channel my name is juliana thank you for joining me for today's video today i'm going to be creating four looks with the palette from the legendary diversa collection these are the latest palettes from odin cosmetics and they are created by three influencers the first influencer is annette from annette makeup corner then judy from judy channel and last but not the least tina from fancy face I've already done a video swatching all this palette, so this video is not going to be about swatching the palette. I will link the swatch video to this one. This video is about creating the four looks in from the various palettes, but I will quickly show you the palette. So this is Judy's palette, and this is Annette's palette, and then we have Tina's palette. So Tina's palette is the most colorful of all, as you can see. It's got loads of colors. Whereas Judy's palette is the most subdued palette, but it doesn't make it any less beautiful. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that you can use it every day, I appreciate that so much. And finally, Annette's palette, which is the more mysterious of them all. The palette all came with one scarf each um, of each influencer face. And this is Tina's scarf. Absolutely beautiful. Even the colors, you know, on the scarf. Oh, gorgeous. But this is Tina's scarf. Then we have Judy's scarf, which is of fiery red and yellow colors. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And then finally, we have Annette's scarf. And this is what it looks like. So they are gorgeous. All right, without further ado, let's get into the four looks. All right, I've already primed one high, and I'm going to be starting with Annette's and palette. Okay, starting off with this blue shade, I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And I'm using a flat brush so I'm literally just patting that down um, onto my lid I'm not blending just patting down and I'm also putting that blue shade but with a different brush now a shader brush I'm using a small shader brush for the inner corner continuing on my lower lash I'm going with this pink with the same brush wiped off and putting that next to the blue I'm also taking that pink and spreading it to my upper lid. I'm gently using it to define uh, the shape of the high I want. And I'm merging it with the blue. Going back to the blue, I'm going to use it to kind of like join the two colors together without mixing it too much. So literally just stamping down where they meet. Now going into the shade Cosmo, I'm going to darken the outer edge. Of this eye now with a random um, urban decay brush I'm going back into this pink and I'm gonna put that all over my lid where the empty spaces are and I'm just dump it down so I'm literally applying the pink all over my lid everywhere I haven't applied any color and I'm gonna gently merge it with the blue Taking that same pink shade, I'm now going to blend the outer edge of my height. Going back to Cosmo, I'm going to define my height with that color again because when I use the pink, it kind of like got all blended out. So I'm bringing back Cosmo. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend the blue with the same color but with a fluffy brush. Now it's time for the shimmers. For the shimmer, I really want to put it like in the middle of my lid across all the colors. I don't know which of the shimmer I'm going to use yet, but right now I'm just laying down a um, glitter primer. I'm also going to put the glitter primer in my inner tear duct. Uh, for my inner tear duct, I'm going to go with this shade here called Astro. And I'm going to wet it. Uh, that is beautiful. For the middle of my lid, I'm going into this shade called Ethereal. And I believe the shade is a multi 
ago my days I haven't wet the shade because I don't want it to change texture Just putting that all over my lid I'm gonna bring it slightly higher than my crease I'm gonna use my hand to kind of blend upward but for now I'm just laying down my brush I'm going with my finger I'm gonna press it down to avoid any creasing and then start blending upwards with my fingers I'm just blending it up with my finger there's no glue in that middle so literally that bit of it is just on the dry base and I kind of like the effect so it's not like um, too pigmented right here can you see but well, it's pigmented on my lid I would have loved to mix that uh, I would have loved to mix that shimmer with this but I know from experience that this is very very dry and I know it's not going to show up on my lid so much so I'm going to go with this one instead this one is called Scoil so I'm going with this coil and I'm going to use that to blend the side of the shimmer I currently have and I'm doing the same thing on this other side but I'm laying it more on the shimmer rather than on the mattes because I do like that blue so I don't want that blue to fade away but at the same time I want some sort of gradient going back in with Azure I'm going to use that to blend the mattes into the shimmer on this side just on my inner corner I'm not going to do anything like that on this side to finish off this look, I'm going with the new Disney and Beauty Bay liners, one of their liners. So this is the pink one. I'm putting that in my waterline. I'm going to leave the high for now until I finish this one and I'm going to apply my lashes and we'll see how the two looks. But for now, I'm done with Annette's palette. Alright, for the second look, I'm using um, Judy's palette, which is the Red Dragon, and this is what the palette looks like. So this is right up my alley, and this is what I'm using for the second look. Now that I've done an eye look like this, I kind of am tempted to do the same with this one. I don't know how a different one is going to look, but we'll see. I'm starting with a red shade called Dragon, and I'm going to start with my lower lash this time around. So putting that right here. And I'm more or less going to put that all over my lower lid. Now I'm going with a pencil brush. I'm going to go with this darker shade. It's called Fire. And I'm putting that down on the outer edge of my eye to darken the outer. I love red. So I'm bound to like this palette. I swap into a more fluffy brush. I'm going to continue applying that shade on my outer edge I'm going to try and make it um, the same shape as this one as well so which means I have to take it far up um, into my crease and now with a flat brush I'm going to go into that shade I don't know how dark these two are going to be so I'm going to start with this one first if it's not dark enough then I'll use this one in the middle and I'm putting that right in my inner corner right here oh that is a beautiful peach can you see that it's like peachy or it's not totally orange it's definitely a peach color absolutely beautiful and I'm just gonna lay that all over my inner lid I'm also taking it a little bit higher into my crease just as I did with them um, they look with um, Annette's palette uh, slightly messy on this side but I'll clean it up I think I got a little bit too excited with the peach shade and again I'm just going to try and merge it with the fire the dark red without making it muddy back into fire I'm going to try and meet up those two shades together back and forth yeah I think I like that I mean the shimmer shade is going to cover that anyway all right for the middle of my lead I'm going with this shade called yin 
and I'm gonna lay that everywhere there is no color at the moment oh my word that is an absolutely beautiful shade can you see that oh 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 my word beautiful just so beautiful Of smells funny almost like paint i can literally smell it as i'm putting it on my lid i'm going back into fire i'm just gonna blend where they meet and i'm gonna do the same for the peach shade right here all right doing exactly what i did with this so i am laying down my glitter primer in my inner tear duct. All right, going into the shade Luna. Again, I haven't wet this. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Oh dear. Oh. This is so, so beautiful. And like I did with um, the first look, I'm also gonna put it, um, spread it all over my lid. Just above my crease i'm doing down my finger so literally parting again there's no glitter glue on at the top of my crease all right for my inner tear duct i'm actually tempted to use the green for my inner tear, but i don't know how that's gonna look so for now i'm gonna use this one and this one is called overheat and i'm gonna spray this because it's quite dry I'm going to define the edges of the shimmer in the middle with this one and this one is called amber I'm using amber on the outer edge just in between that matte and shimmer in between fire so it's not as dark as I want I would have loved it to be like a burgundy shade to kind of um, match the fire I put on my outer edge but I suppose I can use a mat to do that I can use the matte shade then to darken the outer edge back so going back into fire I'm just gonna put that back over the shimmer to kind of darken it up just like that yeah, I prefer that because I like that dark edge I like that smokiness at the side so I only have one shimmer that I have not used, which is that green one. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> this might be a total disaster. I'm going to put that in the inner edge here. Oof. <laughs> I think I probably should have used a smaller brush, but well, I suppose I can use my finger to kind of um, blend it in. So I don't know how I feel about that green, but I'm going to leave it for now. I think I'm going to put the green in the middle and use a different shade um, in the inner edge. So I'm going to spread that green all over the middle of my lid, over that uh, multi-chrome shade. Yeah, I kind of prefer how that looks and I'm going to bring back um, that reddish peach on that side. Alright, going back to amber. Yeah, I'm gonna put amber back on this side to give me that um, orange reddish um, look back. And then I'm going to go into the shade again to kind of blend the shimmer into the matte. So I'm just gonna put it in over the shimmer to give it a perfect blend. Right, for my waterline on this side, I'm going with Colourpop's um, Good Reef. I think that's what it says. I can't really see it. It's very, very tiny. But I'll, as always, I'll put the name in the description section. Alright, this is not showing up. So I'm going to go with the first one I used on the other side. So going back with um, Beauty Bay's um, liner. I'm putting that in my waterline. Let's see, that's better. That shows up. Now that I use the same liner for this one, I'm going to change the one on this side to like a lilac -y one. Yeah. 
yeah that's better all right i'm gonna put on some lashes and just finish this look and i'll be right back all right guys this is the first and second look completed so on this side i have annette's palette and on this side i have judy's palette just to remind ourselves of the color stories do we think i think i did it justice okay up next is tina's palette and the third and fourth look are going to come out of tina's palette so this is what the inside of Tina's palette looks like and I am going to do two looks with this palette because it's just too beautiful. So two looks. But for now, let's go into the third look. Alright, so this high I've decided I want like a blue look. Um, and I'm going to go into this shade first which is called Clear Blue. Yeah, I'm going to go into Clear Blue first. So this shade is actually very light and slightly powdery but no fallout and also taking it to the outer edge because i want that to be like um at the end of any color i might lay over this slightly bringing into the area of my tear duct but i'm being careful not letting it go over the place i'm going with a smudging brush i'm gonna use that um to apply the shade on my lower lid just around my tear duct but on my lower lid and then slightly put it on top as well because this kind of packs a punch it applies more pigment than the fluffy brush all right now going into lagoon i'm not going to build up a little bit of smokiness on my outer edge and i'm gently taking that from the side of my eye and just applying it to the corner okay not as dark as i was expecting and it could be because i'm laying it over the blue but there is a darker shade in the palette as well so if this is not dark enough or it doesn't build up um, dark enough i'm going to apply that and i know this is not too dark i'm going to bring that on my lower lid okay, turning that smudger brush on the other side i'm going to use that because i want it to be precise i don't want it to go all over the place it's a beautiful beautiful shade going back into that light blue i'm going to bring it across and try and merge it together without one overriding the other just like that now I'm going to continue to build lagoon now I'm going to blend the lagoon on my crease just slightly higher so now I'm starting and gradually taking it higher or well, at the same time the light blue is still showing and now I'm going into this shade called star apple I want to see if I can use it to kind of um, further darken uh, the outer edge of my eye because I don't know what the impact is going to be, I'm just going to slightly press it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Alright, swap into a different brush um, to try and prevent them um, fallout. Which seems to be working. This is Zoeva 231. Okay, I'm not getting fallout with this brush. And I'm just using that shade to build my outer edge I still want that blue to show but I want some smokiness um, on the outer edge now I'm gonna clean the outer edge with the lightest blue shade at least I'm using that first before I go into the into lagoon then going back into lagoon just to make sure the that shade is not overwhelmed by the lighter blue shade I'm making sure that clear blue is still showing them um, on my tear duct area just like that so I'm pretty much done with the mat I'm gonna apply the shimmers all right for my inner corner on this side I'm gonna go with the shade fancy I don't know how I feel with this shade in my inner corner, but this looks like the lightest um, shimmer in the palette. So I'm not sure I have any other choice unless I dip into another palette, which I don't want to do. For the shimmer on my outer edge, I'm going to go with the shade Hummingbird, which is this purple shade. I'm going to start laying that from the side. See, it's so beautiful. One thing about Emptiness palette is that all the shimmers are very pigmented and buttery. None of the shimmers in a palette are actually dry. And in front of that shimmer, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, it's called Blue Fields. And this is the one I'm going to lay right in front of the purple shimmer. I 
and I'm also using the shades to define my crease. Now blending into the first purple I applied. I mean, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference in shade in the color. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. So going in with my finger, I'm going to further make sure that those shades are sealed down. And to the purples. Right now, going back into the shade Fancy, I'm going to put that in the empty space right there. I'm also taking that shade fancy slightly on my crease on top of the blue and purple I earlier applied to give you like a sort of a highlighting effect on my crease. Alright, for the fourth look, I want to put this red all over my lid. I'm just stamping that all over my lid. Such a beautiful shade. Really, really beautiful shade. I'm very true to color as well. What it looks like in the pan is what it looks like on the eye. Jeez. I'm slightly avoiding the towards the ridge of my nose. I'm not putting any shade there. So I'm just putting the red. I won't even call it red. I'm gonna call it like a pinkish, peachy red. But well, it's called hibiscus. And I'm also putting hibiscus on my lower lid as well. Alright, so was my inner corner, I'm going to change the shade to clear blue. And I'm also putting that in my tear duct on the upper lid. Now starting to blend on the edges of the red with the same color and the same brush. But I've not had it, I've not dipped my brush into the palette again, so I'm using that same color that I took earlier to blend it in towards my brow bone. Again, I'm stopping right on the three quarter of my eye and not taking it just like I did um, with this look. I'm leaving the center as red. combination of these two shades absolutely beautiful now I'm going to swap to a slightly fluffy brush so going into the same brush I use them to apply that shade on this side I'm just going to put that all around um, the lower part of my lid still maintaining that red it's great that this actually shows up on a lighter color Shows up on red. That's absolutely beautiful. Now blending that darker shade into the red on my crease, and slightly bringing it um, towards my inner corner. But I'm going to stop right here. Going back on my lid and making sure that dark shade is all over my outer corner. Okay, going back without red and making sure that the red is still showing on the edge. And I'm going to be going back and forth until I get the right blend. So bringing back that dark shade. Okay, I think it's time for the shimmer now. Again, starting with the shade Fancy on my inner corner. I think the shade is better suited to these um, colors this side the red because it's kind of got pink in it so it makes more sense on this side and this side okay I'm gonna leave that like that for now I think this is gonna be a terrible idea but I think I'm gonna use the green shimmers <laughs> on top of the red I don't know what it's gonna look like but I'm gonna try so first going with the lime green. God, this is going to be terrible. Uh, I'm going to put that. Hmm. Mm, I don't hate it. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. So 
So just laying that down on the, I want to say a third of my lid after that fancy shade. So a third of my lid. I'm gonna stop right there. That shade is very very silky, so very very smooth. It almost doesn't need a glitter primer. Now using my fingers to further seal in the shade. Using a softer brush, I'm gonna use that to blend towards my crease. And going back to the shade Fancy, I'm going to now blend Fancy over the green. And I'm also taking Fancy just like I did them um, on this other side to intensify my crease. So I'm using it to like um, as if I'm doing a core crease. And right, now finally going into that green and I might dip into this purple if I need it because the purple kind of blends with the matte I use on the outer edge. We're going in with that green. I'm gonna lay that um, next to the lime green. And I'm bringing that across the lime green to kind of blend it together. Using my fingers, I'm going back to the lime green, using my fingers to blend the two shades together. Yeah, I like the color that that forms because it sort of changes that green to so like a mid-range green, I want to say between the two. Kind of like that. Okay, and now finally going into this um, purple shimmer and I'm going to use that to kind of um, pull the old look together. I think that's as far as I'm taking the shimmers. I'm gonna go apply my lashes and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Alright, guys, I'm back with the final look. So, this is the third and fourth look using Tina's palette. The first and second look, as you know, came from Judy and Annette's palette. So, my final thoughts on this palette if you haven't seen the swatches, then I will link you to this video. In the swatches, I showed you the texture of the shimmers. For me, shimmers matter more in a palette, and this last palette I used in as palette has the most shimmers and has the softest and most luxurious shimmers of all. I mean, they are fantastic shimmers in all the palettes, but I prefer the shimmers in Tina's palette because they are quite pigmented and they are quite soft as well. They are not as dry as some of the shimmers in Judy and Annette's palette where you have to really pack on glitter glue for it to work. Um, with Tina's, I almost didn't need a glue. Where I've used the glue, it was kind of almost, it got almost too soft. So next time I'm going to use Tina's palette, I'm going to use it with less of um, glitter primer or possibly even no glitter primer. I just spray the shimmers and apply it like that. In terms of the matte in all of the palettes, they are absolutely beautiful i was quite shocked and surprised especially with the very very light um, mattes for example like this one in tina's palette it is so light but i wasn't expecting it to show up on my eyes as it did i was pleasantly surprised same as Annette's palette i thought i was going to have some problems with this same um, shade but uh, as you saw it was really pigmented i'm quite quite impressed with the mattes in this um, palette. I mean, this is my first time of using any Odin's palette, so I have no impression of their palettes before, but from using these three palettes, I can say confidently that their mattes are fantastic. They blend so well. Even the lightest shade, they blend so well. And you saw how the dark shade layers on light shade. I was really, really impressed. So if you're trying to pick one of this palette, it will depend on your preference. Like I said, if you are into colorful looks, and you're into shimmers, you will love Tina's palette. It is absolutely perfect for color lovers and shimmer lovers. Perfect, perfect, this palette. I have no complaints at all, nothing on this palette. Judy's palette, although it's a neutral palette, but it's still a neutral palette with a twist. I mean, again, you saw the dark tones. They 
blend on the light red it was just a beautiful palette and it's not an entirely neutral palette because it's got pops of green in it that shade so it's not really neutral but it is an everyday palette uh, it is a perfect everyday palette and i like it for that because then you can decide to have like pop of colors even with your neutral looks i love the palette and i definitely don't regret buying it and as for our next palette if you are into grunginess if you're into dark looks if you're into even as we're going into the halloween season this this will be a perfect palette for people that are into halloween looks this would be a perfect palette i love this palette as well it is dark it is mysterious i just wish that the some of the shimmers were softer than the hand they had more um pigment to them all right guys that's the end of this video please let me know in the comment section which of the looks is your favorite and i hope you've enjoyed all the looks if you have please like this video share it and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you